One day, Mrs. Grant, an elderly teacher, walked into a salon for a haircut. As she walked in, she studied the colorful posters on the walls, which occupied the elderly lady as she waited. It wasn't long before one of the stylists approached Mrs. Grant. Mrs. Grant read the name Holly on the badge of the stylist, who smiled affectionately and asked the elderly lady what could be done for her. Yes, dear, I would like to cut my hair and a little touch-up of make. Like that in the photo, Mrs. Grant said, pointing to one of the pictures of a smiling, red-haired beauty. The stylist, barely able to restrain her laughter, called her colleagues. Look, this woman in her old age decided to have some fun. Honey, after such a haircut, all you three hairs and those will fall out. Come on, we'll just wash you and comb you. Come on, chuckled Holly. Frustrated and discouraged by such tactlessness, Mrs. Grant left the salon and headed to another less prestigious one. As soon as the woman entered, she was greeted by a good-natured, plump stylist called Lori, who gladly agreed to fulfill elderly woman's request. During the haircut, the woman talked, and the client managed to extort from the hairdresser that Lori and now her son live in a one-room apartment on the outskirts of the city, how her husband left the poor woman a long time back and how she refuses to despair and continues to work and raise her son, Paul, alone. Finally, the woman finished the haircut and turned her client to face the mirror. She gasped with delight. Thank you, sweetheart. What a birthday gift. So, you have a birthday today? Lori asked before adding, Congratulations! and let me give you a discount. Mrs. Grant left the salon happy and grateful. Returning home, she met her former student, Sylvia, who did not immediately recognize the elderly lady. Oh my God, you look rejuvenated. Thank you, sweetheart. And how you grew up, smiled Mrs. Grant. And, you know, Sylvia interrupted. I remember that today is your birthday. Let's go to my salon and I'll treat you to something. Sylvia led her elderly teacher by the hand to the very salon that had earlier mocked and ridiculed Mrs. Grant. However, now everyone looked in shock at the transformed woman and she, in turn, was surprised that the salon belonged to her student. She informed Sylvia about the incident earlier in the day, who became angry and looked at her employees with a stern look. What a shame! In the best salon of the city work such rude people. I urgently need new stylists. Then the old woman approached the former student and whispered something in her ear. Half an hour later, they were standing at Lori's small barber shop. Sylvia invited her to work for her and found a nanny for her son. Lori was confused but very happy. She sincerely thanked Mrs. Grant and her new boss. And they just smiled and repeated, Good must return. Every person, regardless of who they are and what status they have in society, deserves respect. And the one who shows this respect is always rewarded.